Here chatting with Sam Meach for day 76 of sailing LEQ12 and a couple of days into the uh, racing block that you guys are doing. Uh, how's the, how was it out there today and how was the goals for the session, I guess? Uh, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty full on. Like we're, uh, we're getting through a lot of starts in a pretty uh, short amount of time. Um, but yeah, the, the racing is really close and it's, um, it's pretty intense, those free starts. Yeah. How are you finding the transition from kind of testing on the testing on the big boat back to some more like boat on boat action? Oh, for me, it's a massive change. You know, on the big boat, I was cycling and uh, back into this one driving. Um, so yeah, yeah, big change, but it's uh, it's good fun. I mean, the driving these small boats is, uh, is pretty awesome. So you've got to take the opportunity when you can. And you weren't driving previous in the previous blocks of sailing the other when you were two got testing previously? When we uh, very first commissioned the AC40, I drove a little bit then. Um, but then after that, I've been trimming. So it's actually uh, it's cool to mix it up and, and drive. But yeah, my first pre-start the other day, which was which was exciting. I've watched the boys do do hundreds of them, but uh, to actually do one is, is pretty cool. Yeah, and how are you finding, I guess, transitioning to match racing for your own driving compared to like fleet racing? Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty hard. Like like I say, those those pre starts are short, but they're they're pretty intense, and you you know you kind of forget what you did in the last one when you when you go on and um, lose track of where you are a little bit. Yep, and I mean you you got a few starts away against them that were at least even if not <laughs> if not better than the other boat. Are you finding it tricky with the performance differences of the two boats to have an even match race? I guess? It's a little bit harder, but yeah, the way we're doing it, you know, if you're, if you're pushing hard, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. And it's, it's still hard to get an overlap even when the boat is a little bit faster. So no, it's, uh, it's good fun, but yeah, it'd be nice to, nice to have a little bit more speed back on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. I guess a steep learning curve for the, the match racing side. I think lots of the guys on the team haven't done a huge amount of match racing like outside the America's Cup. Is there, is there any respects to go and like try and do that or study more match racing stuff oh yeah for sure i mean the team's put a lot of work into and just knowing what they're doing in these pre-starts and um yeah it's, there's nothing really the same eh, as, as as what we're doing here so that makes it a little bit hard to get practice outside sailing sailing the 40s really yeah yeah cool all right well I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do from the, over the next couple of weeks yeah pretty excited it's good to get the youth and women out there you know they're getting good sailing either side of our sessions so um, we just, we're pretty lucky actually, it's a good program. We just jump on, sails already up and then jump off and they sail the boat in. So it's good for us and awesome for them to get such, such a good amount of time out sailing. Yeah, it's actually been brilliant to see them improving so drastically over the last couple of days and doing amazing stuff. So. Oh, they're going great. You know, they're sailing in a, in a range of wind and yeah, they're sending it. It's yeah, pretty cool to see. Super hungry for it as well. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, cool. All right, thank you for your time. Cheers, guys.